Hello? Hello, is this thing on? Um, hi. Sorry that took me a minute to get ready. Oh, I guess it didn't take that long. Farley started crying and I had to address it. Also, there is... a hair on my camera. <laughs> um, hi friends, how's it going? Nem, Luna, welcome. Thank you for the contributions to Wholesome Week. How are y'all? Um, 
it's very cold in here, as you can tell, because I am all bundled up. <laughs> but it's Monday and I'm feeling okay. I'm very tired, but I'm so excited. Um, cause it's, cause, cause, cause we're gonna, we're gonna play Blackout Hospital. Um, which is Arcade Kitten's newest game. And as you, as we all know at this point, uh, we love Arcade Kitten here. <laughs> um, but we got, we got a, a whole dang game. <gasps> Hi, Eileen, and I am hype for this game. Hi, Eileen, too. And I am also hyped for this game. I'm stoked. It. You're stoked. It is available on itch as per usual. Um, if people haven't already played it and or want to check it out, it's there. It is technically free to play, but we do love we do love supporting our, our friends and we do love supporting indie devs. So pay what you want. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm super pumped about this. Uh, yeah, I've been getting getting some updates because I am uh, a patron of uh, of arcades over on Patreon. So that's been cool, but I'm super stoked. <laughs> I don't know what else to say other than I'm just super excited. Um, that's fair. You know what? That's okay. <laughs> I will, we're planning on, I'm, I'm only going to play it the once on stream. Um, I mean, we'll play through it from start to finish once on stream. There are three endings. So even if you see see my playthrough at some point when your brain stops being awake, I mean, you can still play it and try and get a different ending. So. <laughs> but no, that's totally fair, and I don't blame you. Brains are weird, and also brains have been especially weird the last couple of weeks. Um, I feel that. <laughs> but yeah, I don't have much else to say at the moment other than it's Monday. I'm tired, but I'm excited. Um, and this is more or less what we're going to do on the weekdays until we beat it. So there's that. Um, yeah, preemptive apologies. I am incredibly sniffly today. I don't know what's going on. I think it's just that it's cold. I think, I think the issue is that it's cold and my nose and sinuses are like, ooh. Um, so I might sniff snarf every so often. Apologies. But I think, I think we're ready to just kind of start. You just want to kind of start? I kind of want to just start. <gasps> hey. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's anything else to do or say. I like the music on the title screen. Anyway. <laughs> I'm just I'm just stoked. As per usual, we got our we got our content warnings here on the main screen. They are also in chat if you need them as well. Uh, flashing lights, loud noises, strong language, uh, language, medical malpractice, violence, blood, death, mentions of child death, mild gore, body horror. Suicide, and there's a uh, gambling mechanic as well. You've been warned. <gasps> Wait, Arcade! <laughs> it's fine! It's fine, we've only just started. Maybe maybe we wait a minute. Arcade's here now. I did! I did download the latest version as of today. Um, I decided I would wait until the last possible the last possible second to, to download it. Um, so it is the newest, it is the newest version. Do not worry. <laughs> uh, cause I, <laughs> so sudden. Oh, so sudden. Um, yeah, no, I figured, I figured you might put out some updates over the weekend. I've seen that you've put out some updates over the weekend and me knowing me, I was like, I cannot download it on the very first day because if I do, then I'll forget to update it properly. So I, I just downloaded it a, a, like an hour or two ago. So listen, I'm sure I'm going to like it. I'm sure I'm going to like it, but you know, who knows? <laughs> no, it's going to be great gonna be great but also hi friends welcome 
<laughs> we got I got my screwy shirt on today, which was not entirely planned. Uh, it just happened to be the first shirt in my laundry basket of clean clothes. So it works out. Farley, I swear to God, if you keep crying at me all day, I'm going to scream. Go away. Go. Go. Go away. I love cats. If what I want to believe and what I know to be true are two different things, do I have to, cho uh, do I have to choose the right one? That's okay. Screwy is here in spirit. Hi, Smiley. <laughs> Would it make me a bad person for trying to find a way around that truth for my own happiness? Hello. Hold on. Tonight is the first night I feel comfortable saying I've been working here for a while. At this point, it's almost hard to remember a night I haven't spent working in Al Alto Buck Hospital. Picked up the job shortly after I moved to this area, and I've been working here ever since. It's been a little boring. I guess average? Hold on a second. You need to go. Out. Get out. We're not doing this. Evo, you gotta go too. I'm sorry, buddy. Farley's ruined it for everyone. Oh, you gotta love ridiculous animals. Say... Yeah, no, no kitties in the hospital. He's gotta go. Um, it's not like I didn't know what I was getting into. My work here is important, though, and I'd like to think I'm dedicated to it. I mean, let's be honest. This place would probably fall apart without me. I wonder if any of those white coats ever realize it, though. <gasps> Them. <laughs> Them. Hi, Bacillus. I love you. Probably not. <gasps> Hold on. That was a good hmm. <laughs> I'm gonna turn it up just a smidge. Probably not. Not like it matters anyways. I'd rather clean the bathrooms before trying to hold a conversation with any one of them. Look at them. I'm just getting distracted though. What was I right. doing? Ah, right. There's been a few spills on this floor. Better get to it. Take it you're gonna help me with that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Okay, all right. <laughs> There's an auto dash option. Okay. Clean a mess on the floor, stand over and click your interaction button. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. That's the ro <gasps> Sorry, look at the- <laughs> There's Sprite though! <laughs> it's perfect and I love it. Already? <gasps> Masillus is an environmental service worker at Alto Buck Hospital, or as they prefer, a janitor. Masillus has been working at Alto Buck for just about a year. They are content with their job and feel they do it well. Masillus tries to mind themselves and their own business, but certain situations just can't be avoided or looked past. <laughs> okay, no, but listen! <laughs> But they're precious. You don't understand. I love them. <laughs> oh, spill. <laughs> Some sort of yellow substance. It's probably just lemonade. It's fine. Not gonna question it. Just clean. Good job. I hope you're not dumb enough to think I clean this whole place by myself, though. I only really take care of floors five, six, or four, five, and six. I know how to count. No. <gasps> Give me the lemonade. Everything outside of that is not my job, no matter how many times they try to get me to cover for someone else. Maybe I'd feel more inclined if they offered to pay me more, but it's not like I just I just do cleaning either. I have to keep track of, order, and organize all these supplies too, you know. Thankfully, they never try to make me take care of the courtyard or the garden on the roof. No. Because those are definitely not my job. Oh, clean! <laughs> I love them! Excuse me, I can't talk much. A doctor's work is never done, they say as they pace the hallways. What was this number again? Did I put in my contacts? Ah, excuse me, I'm in the middle of something. Oh, sorry, my bad. 
Also, the way the cart follows is very cute. Okay, it's fine. Everything is fine. It's like some artificially blue flavored energy drink. Artificially red is a much better flavor, though. Right. <laughs> I work the night shift, of course. You heard me say that earlier, didn't you? Honestly, I think that's a good thing about this job. I think people tend to be less annoying at night. At least from my point of view. Everyone's too tired to start too much of a fuss. <laughs> Downside is that I never get any sleep when I'm at home. Everyone is always awake and making noise. Lawnmowers, cars, animals. Ugh. Not to mention sleeping all day and working all night hardly gives me room to make plans. This is why I stopped working at the iBank? Not like there's much of anyone to make plans with anyway. Maybe you and I should catch a movie sometime then, huh? Okay. <laughs> He's <he's> fine. <gasps> Look at them! Oh, sorry. I talk, but the lights in here are giving me a headache. I like their hair. Their little antennas. Have they ever stopped buzzing? <gasps> yes, please. Speaking of, I was gonna message uh, in the Discord to see what everyone's free for Skin and Ring. Because uh, it, it's available on Shutter as of this Thursday. So. So, y'all gotta start letting me know! <laughs> Must be some sort of orange juice or orange soda. I mean, I really want it. I really want you to see it. I really want everyone to see it. Um, so, we might just make it a horror fest thing since enough people want to do it, but I want to make sure that. Sunday at noon works for everyone. Clumsy people are always spilling this stuff. Why are they always spilling their orange juice? Environmental service worker. That's my official title. No. But let's be real. We all know it's just a pretty up way to say janitor. Janitor gets the point across quicker anyway. So I prefer to just say it for what it is and be done with it. And heaven forbid I ever start a sentence saying I work in the hospital. Janitor. That's all I really need to say. And I'm a damn good one, too. Mm -hmm. Even if no one ever appreciates it. I appreciate you and your work. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> okay. Is that everything? Oh. 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 My walkie-talkie's going off. Hello? Hi, are you there? Yes? You called me. Is there something I can help you with? We've got a spill in front of room 605. I don't mind wiping that- or you don't mind wiping that up for us. Right? I mean, what else would I be doing? It's my job. I'll get on the elevator now. Great! Could have at least given me a thanks. Fucking whatever. Better get on that. I love how nonplussed Lucillus is about literally everything. <laughs> Can't you? Oh, I guess those. those that is a stare icon. Oh. <gasps> Hi. Oh, Dr. Oakvale. <laughs> Still calling me that? Hi, Moon. Hi. <laughs> Sorry. This is this is all this playthrough is gonna be is me just fawning over all the characters. As good boys. I told you, just rune is fine. Wasn't expecting to run you run into you here. Alright, you don't know him. No, I do. Kind of. Hold on, sorry, my nose is running. <gasps> do your lark thing, smiley. Thanks for stopping in. And I love you too. <laughs> This is Dr. Oakvale, but for some weird reason, he always insists to be called by his first name, Rune. Something about last names being too formal? I don't know, it's kind of stupid, but whatever. I think he's, like, a fine person or whatever, but, like, the lengths people go around here to kiss his ass feels so egregious. Can't say I don't understand it with a face like that, though. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> No, before you can think what you're thinking, it's not because of the stupid scar. What's wrong with you? It's not what I was thinking at all, but, you know, that's okay. It's because he's, you know, I'll admit it, he's really handsome. 
I don't really buy his nice guy act, though. Not that I think he's an asshole or anything, but I don't really buy he's as happy-go-lucky as he acts like he is. <laughs> At least I'm honest when the people here are frustrating me. Ah. Dub. Silas? Huh? Hmm? What? I asked if you were going up or down. Right. Oh, uh, right, right. Uh, up. Sixth floor. <laughs> sure thing. I'm heading up myself, too. I know. <laughs> uh, thanks, I guess? <laughs> of course. See you later. His laugh, though! Hi. <laughs> Sorry. Good. Good, good to pick. <laughs> Rune has been added to the characters in the menu. Excuse me. Dr. Rune Oakvale, neurologist. Though he prefers to be addressed by his first name, Rune. Friendly to everyone he meets, Rune is a highly respected staff member of Alto Buck Hospital. Rune has been known to share many stories about himself and have many stories shared about him by others. When not coming from his mouth, it's hard to tell what's true. <laughs> I just know that he is perfect. Ah, careful stepping over here. I dropped my contact. Well, good luck with that. Sorry, I'm busy. Yeah, okay. <gasps> Spill. No idea what this is. We've got to clean it, just the same. Also. Grip it and rip it. And... All better. <gasps> <laughs> Thank you, Luna. It must feel weird when I pass by this room. This room is... Ah! Marianta's room. No. No, we have to go in and say hi. We have to go in and say hi. We have to go in and say hi! Marianta. She's certainly a name around here. Around this hospital, at least. Mary is a patient who's been here for a long time. And, well, it's not unusual for people to be in hospitals for a long time. Especially when they're sick, I guess. But Mary's condition is special. That is, no one really knows what's wrong with her. It's caused quite a stir when she first came to the hospital. I heard she came from something basic, like appendicitis or something. But after they fixed that for her, they soon discovered underlying issues. I don't know the specifics of it. I just know that no one knew what the fuck was going on. It caused a bit of panic and she was even on the news for a little bit. I never saw her face though. In fact, very little was, was released about her. I think her family wanted to keep it private or something. Not like I can blame them or anything. You know how people can be. But once it was discovered that whatever she had wasn't contagious, the news about it began to die down. And it kind of faded out as uh, as new, new things became the center of attention. That's what always happens, I suppose. People start caring quickly once they realize they're not- Or stop caring uh, once they realize they're not in any danger. I am having a heck of a time reading today. It is a me issue. I apologize. <laughs> She's still been here all this time. It's had to have been half a year, I think. I remember all the buzz happening around the end of autumn. And, well, now we've been getting the springtime weather rolling in again. Feels weird. Like, once I start thinking about her, I can't stop. And some days it feels like I'm the only one who remembers those first days she was here. I mean, it's not as if they don't talk about her. They most certainly do. But the attitude's changed. That little expression, though. <laughs> I think she's doing okay, though, despite what's been happening with her. No one's allowed in her room except her doctors and a few nurses, but I know a bit about her from rumors and all. Okay, can we go in and say hello? Of course, they're rumors, so I don't know if they're true, uh, if they're true any, but from what I've heard, I know that, well, she has an eye patch. Something to do with one of her eyes becoming too sensitive to light or something? They were worried she would go blind if it wasn't covered, so. I also know that. What if she has paralyzed her legs not too long ago? Fuck, my, uh, that might have even been last week. Or the week before? So now apparently she can't even go anywhere without help. 
Not that I've ever seen her outside of her room before then anyways, but that must be awful. I think she's at least stable now? But it's progressed so fast recently, I can't imagine the kind of toll that takes on someone. I want to go see my baby! Is it weird to think so much about a girl I've never met? It's just that her face is so strange, I can't help but be- help. And I can't help but to be interested in it. Some days I start to wonder if I'll ever see her walk out that door. And out she comes! <gasps> no! JK! <it's> my... <laughs> there he is. There he is. There is my sweet boy! Ah, Dr. <laughs> Tetra. Oh, hello there, Vasilis. You remembered my name. Of course I remember. <laughs> Look him. Look him. I can also see your name tag hanging off the side of your card. Right. Ah, great. You really should wear it, you know. Could get lost like that, and then where would you be? Yeah, yeah, I get it. No need to tell me twice. <sighs> this is Dr. Tetra. He's Mary's rheumatologist. That's, uh, bones and stuff. Muscles, too, in case you didn't know. He's actually kind of like, well, honestly, I've heard him described as a miracle worker. His patients always seem to recover from their ail ailments at an almost alarming rate. So much so that he even regularly receives gifts and thank you letters mailed here. It's honestly pretty weird, in my opinion. But I suppose it means that there's no one better to be taking care of Mary than him. Though truthfully, even just thinking of the job he's tasked with makes me feel exhausted. Everyone counting on you to cure the patient with a mis uh, mystery disease? Even just being a janitor isn't so bad. As for Dr. Tetra as a person, however, he's perfect. <laughs> look, look, look. He's, like, polite and everything, I guess. But in the few times I've talked to him, he feels so condescending. And, uh, I don't appreciate it. Not like I'd expect someone in his position to get it. They all think they're so much better than everyone else. I'm like... Huh? Uh, hello? Right, right, the tag. I just got lost in thought. I'll fix it in a second. It's quite alright. Did you need me for anything? I <laughs> read it. He can talk down to everyone. It's acceptable. <laughs> no, no, I was just stopped here to clean a mess, that's well. all. Right, well, I'll be on my way then. Do try to keep it quiet out here, though, won't you? Mary's preparing to sleep, and I'd hate for her to struggle due to noise outside. Huh? What are you talking about? I wasn't making any noise. No need to get so worked up over it. It was just a reminder. I'm sorry, did I upset you? No. Never. Have a nice night. Bye, Reggie, I love you! <laughs> I hope I see you soon! <sighs> well, that's that. What am I doing now? We're, go we're gonna check Reggie's profile is what we're gonna do, and then we'll head to the fourth floor. I haven't checked on it in a while, and so there's sure to be something waiting for me. Also, I'm gonna open the door back up, because now the cats are crying, and you can't hear them, but I can. And I hate it! You need to stop! Come here. Up here. I love him very much, but he's gotta stop. <laughs> Alright. I'm so, again, I'm sorry that I'm just gonna be, like, wiping my nose this entire time. I am so sniffly. Um. Dr. Tetra. Look at him. Okay. Dr. Reginald Tetra, rheumatologist. Dr. Tetra is Mary's primary caretaker while she's in the hospital. Dr. Tetra is well known for his expertise and skill in treating his patients. He's often well liked by patients. Staff regard him as kind to a fault. <sighs> he is also the love of our lives. <laughs> is true. Is what the? The the power went out. I haven't seen that happen the entire time I've been here. Where did everyone go? 
we're gonna get marinked. <laughs> we're gonna get Skinema stabbed. <laughs> Wasn't storming out either, so I wonder what caused... Am I losing it? I could have sworn there were people here with me just a second ago. And hey, where'd my cart go? It was right here, wasn't it? Don't psych yourself out, Vasilis. It's just a power outage. The backup lights are on. Nothing's wrong. What was I doing again? I was gonna look for more stuff to clean up, right? Cart got more ranked. I bet it's on the ceiling. Yeah, I'll just head back downstairs. I'll have to use the actual stairway, though. The elevator won't be working with the power off. Stair- oh. Oh. Okay, but before we head down, I got excited. It's didn't look like our cart, but I still thought it was our cart. He did this was on my cleaning cart. I can't get in here right now. Okay. But consider... What if we go say hello to Mary? No, I, they're all locked, aren't they? That's a shame, really. I wanted to see our friend. Down to four. Excuse me? <clears throat> There's some, uh, some sort of strange substance that has attached itself to the wall and floor. Doesn't look like it's moving anytime soon. What the heck is this supposed to be? It's bubblegum. You should eat it. Also, either somebody has spilled some juice, or we've got some Danganronpa blood going on here. I'm sure it's fine. <gasps> yes, please. Save my game. I'm just gonna keep talking about how great these sprites are. They're perfect. Um... <laughs> we have so many files. <coughs> Excuse me. This fluid leading up to the elevator. It's all gooey. What is it? Moreover, no wonder should have been able to get into the elevator. When the power goes out, the elevator is supposed to descend to the first floor and keep its doors open there. They taught me that when I first got here, so... What's happening? Wait, the elevator? There's a strange lock upon the elevator door with words inscribed on top. Please follow proper uh, follow proper procedures to open the elevator. Retrieve the elevator key. What the? Two plus four plus six plus seven. Nineteen? What the? Hmm. What the fuck is this? course as if I didn't have enough to deal with tonight. Oh. But, but fine. I'll play your stupid game. That is why we are here, buddy. Where can I find a key for this, though? What was it? Two, four, six, and seven? Can I... Oh. I meant to try to look at the sign. That's okay. Plastic plant with no special or extraordinary qualities about it. Okay, hold on. Just, just a second. I think I fucked it up because I touched the wrong door. Slash, I don't even know if this is what I'm supposed to do, but this is what makes sense. Four. Six. Nope. I don't think that was it. <laughs> Hold on. Retrieve the elevator key. Do I need to go to floors two, four, six, and seven? Or is it the not highlighted ones? One, three, five, eight, and nine? It's true. But I want to do you proud and figure out your puzzles. 
<laughs> let me, let me. We'll, tr we'll try a little bit. One, three, five, eight, and nine. Treat the elevator key. Okay. It's fine. We'll just wander around a little bit. And then... Well, okay. So it can't be the different floors. Oh! Doesn't look like there's anyone on this floor either. Hello? Where is everyone? That is a good question. What are you? This used to be a water cooler. Doesn't look like there's water in it now. It's probably filled with juice. <coughs> Sorry. We could solve a puzzle. Or consider... I wander around aimlessly and look at everything. The vending machine still has power somehow. Though I can't get anything without money. I'd open it with my keys, but they were in my cart. Well, where's our dang cart? Can I look oh. at that? Oh, there's some money in here. Okay, I shouldn't really be taking this, well. but... No, it's fine. It's only a five anyways. Shouldn't be too heavily missed. The little... <laughs> little grin, <laughs> no. Besides, if this is a doctor's coat, I'm sure they make more than enough, right? I'm not gonna get in trouble for this, am I? No, you're not. Take it. Be gay, do crime. <laughs> oh, hey. I'm not streaming with Broody today. Let me turn off that command. Although y'all should follow Broody if you don't already. Because they are delightful. But it's not the weekend and I forgot to turn off that option. Also, I see a thing over there. I know that there's a strange substance. But I, I see the paper! I want the paper! You gotta give me the paper. Okay, we've already walked the sixth floor. Can I... Type in... What was it? Uh... I've already forgotten what the numbers were. <laughs> this is fine. Can I type in the numbers in the vending machine, though? 2467? 2467? I would like item 2467. <clears throat> Travis, no! Also, hi, friend. <laughs> Devo, I hear you crying. All right, I got five, but the drink is three. If I can only get one of them, we're getting we're getting nineteen. We're gonna get that tea. The machine clunks about and then drops the tea in the receptacle. Well, that was easy enough. This can feels like it's empty. <clears throat> I can hear something rattling in it though. I received an elevator key. What? How the hell did you get in there? Can I use the vending machines to purchase drinks? <gasps> but, Vasilis, I wanted to see if there was lemonade in that one. I know you said there was coffee and tea, but also consider... I'm so dang smart. <laughs> Sometimes it just takes me a minute. I usually get there, though. Well, I do appreciate the fact that I have you here, though, so I can default to you to be like, hey, I've been here for, like, ten minutes. Hull. It's out of work. Use the, uh, use the elevator key in the door. After a few seconds. There we go. That was weird. Hey, Devo. Why are you yelling in the bathroom? He, 
you would like to hear yourself? Silly man. I guess all I gotta do now is step inside. But also consider we will be rotating saves. <laughs> Get in there. Ah, uh, hi! I like your teeth. Attack the thing! I missed! <laughs> Back! I didn't actually mean to defend, but that's okay. Dual attack. I need more energy, so I will defend, actually. This is fine. No, wait, no, wait. Okay. Right? I like it. <laughs> I need it. I don't know. This is. It's, it's fine. This is gonna be fine. Ouchies! I am noticing that we're- that we got a little bit of energy the first time that we attacked. This is fine. This might not be fine. It's a good thing we just saved. <laughs> I- I want to emphasize that I am incredibly bad at turn-based attack, like, turn-based combat, it's a me issue. I've, I've, we have died. This is fine. We saved. <laughs> um, I'm, yeah, I'm very bad at, at turn-based combat. This is, this is something we should be expecting. Devo, you gotta stop, my guy. Hey. All done. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's fine. It's gonna be great. We're gonna do great. We didn't take any any damage that time. And so far, all of our hits have, have landed. Hey! I do like this monster design. It's very cute and... Horrific? <laughs> you know, the kind of scary that, that you would let launch on you just because it's precious? <gasps> Look at those hits! <laughs> Better do it! We did it. 125 experience! 100 money found! Think of all the drinks I could get. We're now level 2 as well. Oh, bye! <laughs> <laughs> that is the correct response. F fuck this. Something's happening here and I am not getting paid enough to deal with it. It's got that good I'm scared but also want to hug it by. Yeah, exactly. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's time to leave. What the hell? <laughs> what happened to the elevator? To access a floor to add or subtract numbers that lead to that floor's number. Uh, okay. Accessible floors will be highlighted. A calculator? Then maybe... Maybe if I put in 3 minus 2? It's working! It's taking me to the first floor! Thank fuck, I can get out of here. But what happens if I... If I add two and a star, what then? I'm sorry, my cursor has been on the screen this whole time, hasn't it? I don't think that's gonna work, buddy. <gasps> it's no use. These stupid doors won't budge no matter what I do. Right. This. This has to be a dream, right? I mean, it has to be. Everyone's missing suddenly, a monster out of a horror movie. There's no way I'm just making this stuff up. There's no way any of this could be real. 
No. Unless this is supposed to be... No. No. Don't be an idiot. That's not real. Never has been. Never was. <laughs> skin a marink out of a horror movie. Imagine if that were the skin a marink, though. <laughs> you have to be in a dream right now. Ollie slipped and hit your head. At least the hospital's the best place to do that. How come I haven't woken up yet? I'm not in a coma, am I? But if I'm really awake, then what the hell is happening? I need to get out of here. Hmm. But how? Front doors are never locked. Okay, Vasilis, I, I know you're telling me about all the things, but I saw a piece of paper and I would like to pick it up, please. Are there any emergency exits I missed somehow? Maybe if I backtrack. Maybe there's some places I just I usually just gloss over. Not like I have any op other option, huh? Give me the paper! Piece of paper lies here. Typography and page number gives you the impression it was ripped right out of a book. It reads, First step is the ability to accept that you are dead. Once that happens, the rest will come easier. As you can imagine, this is very hard for some souls. If a, a soul is too miserable in the afterlife, unable to cope, it can turn them into a... The rest of the page is co it covered in a mysterious black stain. Like an ink blot. Zoom. Um, start with the top right. And we'll work our way around. Nothing of use. Nothing of use. Absolutely nothing. An EKG monitor? Or is it ECG? You're never really sure. Regardless, it's turned off. Stairs to the basement. Door stuck from the inside. But I want to go to the basement. We're holding oxygen tanks. There's no oxygen here. Zoom. That's a, that's a wall. I saw that that was a wall. And yet... Let's go to the cafeteria. And also, let's see. Oh! Hold on. We have an objective tab here? I appreciate that. I mean, I know my objective at the moment is to go, <laughs> is to find a way out. However, future me will forget what I am doing. And that will be very nice. Thank you, Arcade. Wheelchair. Let me ride around in it. Uh. <laughs> Please, Vasilis, listen. <laughs> a wheelchair. It's annoying when people treat them like toys. In my defense, I use a mobility aid. So... I get a pass? <laughs> I'm just thinking... I'm just thinking of our knees in the future. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> just used a few water cooler. Uh, actually, do I have? I do. Hey, look. Look. I have my cane right here, actually. Hello. <laughs> I'm one of the cool kids. Buy a drink, yes please. Tea, coffee, strawberry, milk, or lemon. I mean, we gotta get some lemonade. Um, don't have enough for strawberry milk. That's fine. Give me a coffee, and I can't afford anything else. I would like to not equip. Oh my god. Oh god, I'm hitting all the wrong buttons. Makes you believe the boo boos have gone away. Iced and lemony. Iced and bitter. Okay, cool. I just wanted to see what the stats were on all those. Um. <gasps> I have. I'm pretty sure I have. I think I know who you're talking about. Um. No, honestly, like, I'm so excited to, like... While I've looked at all of the posts that you've been making in, in Patreon, obviously... Um, it's just super exciting to, like, see it all come together, finally. <laughs> Arcade, I'm so excited for you. <laughs> this is awesome. <gasps> a sink. Surprisingly, the water runs just fine. 
OP, but it's true. Open. Open this. Sell us if there's a goop there. A refrigerator. Nothing to prepare right now. I'm gonna have to come back here for a puzzle, something tells me. Okay. Great. Can I go in here? No, courtyard was locked, right. Listen, I'm just saying what we're all thinking. <laughs> No, nah, it's just, like I said, it's been very exciting seeing everything that you've been working on for this for a while. And now, like, to actually see it as a full, full finished product is just real neat. Alright. Elevator to the basement. Elevator requires a key to use. Use one you don't currently have. Understood. Ah! I've... I know who that is! <laughs> also, it was a good yell. <laughs> no, come back! My baby! <laughs> Fucker, why the hell would you... I thought I was the only person here. Must have scared them in the dark. But, but they fucking scared me first, creeping around like that. A key? Received room 304 huh. key! Where'd they get this from? They weren't a doctor, were they? 304. That means third floor, fourth room. I guess I should go check it out. Yeah, you should. But first, this sign reads Battle Guide. Yes, I would like to read it. Battling will be necessary to progress through some parts of the game. When battling, your party members may be afflicted by different status effects. Oh, God. They will appear beside the character's name during battle. Oh, look at these, though! <laughs> Uh, first one is a character is sick. They will lose extra HP at the end of each turn. Character is hyper. Their attacks will be stronger. But they will lose extra HP at the end of each turn. Character is asleep. They'll be unable to attack. Character is run out of HP and will be unable to battle until revived. And that the skull just means they're sleeping. Every status effect will automatically be removed at the end of battle except for the skull. It can only be removed items or healing and save stations. Okay, cool. I like it when things don't make me heal them up after, or I like that I don't have to deal with the status effects after a battle. Death makes sense. <laughs> but yeah. <gasps> Numerous hospital supplies have been piled up here. It's impossible to get through. Okay. Also, we could go to floor. What was that noise? I should check to see if the monster is there, right? I... You have to go make sure if the monster is there. I don't think I do, is the thing. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't think I have to check. That's not in our job description. Ah. Look them though! Whoa! Oh, what are you doing? Be quiet, dummy. I don't think they see me. I'm gonna keep my distance from them to keep it that way. Or they hear me out. Lucky they haven't seen <laughs> Okay, never mind. <laughs> Lucky they haven't seemed to notice me yet. I'm not gonna risk that by doing something stupid. But consider we do something stupid. <laughs> but what if we just ran on through? Hello. This paper lies here. It's ripped out of a book. It reads, maybe that's part of the consequences of your soul becoming unrestricted. Your form only tied together by the state of your thoughts. But I've seen them uh, be able to recover too. To return to a form that looks like they should form most similar to when they are, were alive. And yet, I can't help but be most interested in the more monstrous amalgamations of the soul. I must be- or it, I must be so cruel to find it so fascin- okay, no, I understand. I must be so cruel to find it so fascinating. I've also noticed they seem influenced by their environments. 
Makes me want to travel this place to every end, seeing how many different forms they ta can take, uh, depending on where they are. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go. <laughs> Was 304 that we got? Before I do that... Okay. I could be obnoxious and try to unlock... Huh. Hi! person from before isn't in here unless the person who was here before is actually this giant cat well duh stupid of course they aren't here they took their key to this room there's really no one here though I haven't seen anyone in this place aside from that person on the first floor box of crayons sits atop the dresser take them take those crayons What this? There are paper drawings left on the floor. They appear to have been drawn by a child. Yes, I would look at the book of the book. <laughs> oh. oh! It's fine, everything's okay. <laughs> Cabinet doesn't have anything. I got a tea! There's gonna be something behind that curtain, huh? Look at this baby! Uh, first eye, I'm assuming that's on the left. It was blue and then red? <gasps> Look at me being so smart. Cat shot out a piece of paper at you. What's this? This is secret for Catsby's eyes only! Catsby. Uh, under the bed, huh? Hmm. Oh, wait, no, I want to actually, I want to, I, I wanted to read that, but, okay, it's fine. This must be that puzzle box the note talked about, right? It said something about, I think I did something bad, if I want to know. How do you open this thing anyways? Not yet. Items? Okay, it's fine, I guess. I mean, I guess we'll go ahead and open it. Oh. Press buttons in the order to open the box. Ha! Uh, uh, how do I leave? Get, get, get me out of here! Or... I brute force it. Red. <laughs> oh, but I wanted to read it. Red, orange, green. So red, orange, yellow. I'm sorry, I'm breaking your puzzle. Blue? Red, orange. Yellow, green, blue, violet. Oh? It's open. Medicine room key, medicine cabinet key. Medicine, medicine. That should be fifth floor, right? Yeah, the center room of the fifth floor. Double doors. Is the elevator free now? Hmm. This kid, uh, who taught this kid to steal stuff like this? I'll have to find the doctor this belongs to. I'll give her these keys back once all of this blows over. <gasps> Hi, Emma! How's it going, friend? Welcome in! The vast say we could use. Okay. Um. Hold on a second. Let me Let's do a couple of quick shout outs here. Y'all should go hang out with Emma Gaddon because she is delightful and also because we're playing her game. You should go you should go hang out with Arcade Kitten as well. Life is is pretty good, all things considered. Um Yeah, we're we're doing well. <laughs> 
It is a Monday, and it's a very Monday Monday. I'm incredibly sleepy, but I'm excited to, to be here playing this neat game and hanging out with my friends and watching my internet dip a little bit. Yeah! Yes. Yes, she did. <laughs> hey, Arcade's kind of cool, um, if, I, if I do say so myself. Uh, fifth floor? Is that what we said? Two... Wait. Yeah. Two plus... Plus three? Nope. 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 Uh, it's on itch if you want to check it out. It was the fifth floor. I see that shiny thing over there. However... Because I am sometimes thorough, I want to check everything else out first. <gasps> Even if you lived, you doubt you'd be able to understand them. What was it? A collection of files and binders on the shelves. Okay. And everything else is just cabinets filled with medicine with names that I cannot pronounce. What am I doing over here? Even if I get medicine, it's not like I can... Whatever. Let's just see. <gasps> Look ah! it! Uh... No, come back! You're perfect! The, the hell was that thing? Stupid fucking... I'm getting sick of monsters. But... But they were... Precious. Room 604 key and room 605. Oh. 605, but that's Mary's room. <laughs> Arcade does a lot of really impressive stuff, and I'm not just saying that because we're pals. Um, <laughs> you should you should genuinely check out uh, their other stuff on on itch. It's very good. <laughs> Seriously, though! Listen. Listen. <laughs> also, it's, uh, it's almost been a year since I, like, played your first game, I think? Or has it been two now? Oh, I think it's been two years now. Oh, time is weird. I'm going to I'm going to stop thinking about that dead quick. <laughs> it is wild. Ah, oh, dang. It's fine. The ad can play and I'll just do this 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 little math puzzle. We're going to the 5th floor or 6th floor, so 4 plus Welcome back. <laughs> I apologize for the ads, but I do appreciate y'all sitting through them. Um, and it's fine. All I did was a, a silly little math puzzle and then ran around in a circle for a minute. You know how it be. <laughs> but yeah, you should definitely check out Arcade stuff. It's all very good. I want to see Mary. Oh. Deflated, get well soon, balloons on the floor. There's indentations in the bed as if somebody had been laying here for a while. Pinkish red book sits atop the bed. There's a lock on the book. It is hmm. unlocked. This looks like a diary. Should I read it? Normally I wouldn't, but... Maybe she's connected to this somehow? Maybe she knows why this is happening. Feels like it'd be reckless if I left a stone unturned. Not gonna feel good about it, though. The diary opens easily. It appears as though many pages have been removed or scribbled over. Only four clear entries remain. Oh, it's got such nice handwriting. Also, the little burp of friends! <laughs> I'm always a little nervous around hospitals, but being in one now, it's not so bad. I just had my appendix taken out the other day. 
thought I'd be more scared, but it's pretty hard to be scared of surgery when you're unconscious. I still feel really sore, though, and I'm kind of just writing to distract myself. Just the best way to pass time, you know. Write and doodle in here while I wait. Mom and Dad are helping me to check out. I do it on my own, but I still feel a little woozy, and they said I shouldn't stress myself with it. Right now, I'm just waiting for them to finish talking with the doctors and all. Some of the staff said they wanted to talk to them and ask them some, uh, some stuff about my medical history. And they probably know it better than me anyways. I don't think I need to be here too long. They should be finishing up soon. I just can't wait to go home and get rest in my own bed after all of this. The doodly gal. I love a doodly gal. Mom and Dad try to visit me when they can, but that isn't often. And of course, they're the only ones who have showed up to visit me. There's hardly anyone else who would. Staying in this room gets more frustrating by the day. My flip phone doesn't get any service in this room, but it's not like I'd be using it to call anyone anyway. I feel mostly okay. Just a few nasty spells here and there. If I stand up too long, I'll start to feel dizzy. It makes walking pretty hard. Um, <gasps> Hi, stars. I love you. <laughs> thank you for the lurk and thank you for the contribution to, to Wholesome Week. Um, and every now again, and again, a joint will start aching really bad. But other than that, I think I feel all right. <laughs> other than being dizzy and hurting a whole bunch we're good mary please <laughs> the worst part is just i'm so bored the tv in my room always plays the same old things and uh when you're not doing much it's hard to have anything to write about i feel so antsy just sitting around all day i want to do something how long have i been here now i just want to go home i don't even feel that bad i don't understand why i have to be here Dr. Tetra, some days it feels like you're the only thing holding me together. I've been feeling so upset. I can't remember the last time my parents visited or when I last heard from them. They just stopped showing up one day. <laughs> my baby. But Dr. Tetra, even as busy as he is, is always making time for me. I see him almost every day now. He comes in and he sits with me and he talks with me. Seeing him is the best part of my day. I, uh, I always put on a happy face for him. He gives me hope that I'll get better. But it's a real smile, genuinely. I love to see you, Dr. Tetra. <gasps> ah! Okay. <laughs> the other day, he even snuck me out uh, to the roof and let me see the pretty garden that's kept up there. I got to sit in the fresh air and look at the scenery. The view is so pretty from up there, and he let me talk about whatever I wanted. Even in my dreadful state and with his busy schedule, he still comes to see me. His job must be so much, and yet he's been dedicating so much time to me lately, and he promised me we would have another roof trip soon. Thank you, Dr. Tetra. I don't know why you'd want to spend your time with me, but I appreciate nevertheless. <gasps> uh <laughs> I love them. Wait a minute, what? She says here her parents stopped visiting, but... Mary hasn't been allowed to have any visitors for a while. Does she not know? Did nobody tell her? I'm still recovering, and yet I have another operation tomorrow? I'm so sick of this. I'm so sick of being sick. No one will even tell me what's wrong with me. Do they even know? Because if they don't know what's wrong, how are they going to fix it? Everyone is working really hard to make me better again, but nothing ever helps. I only ever feel worse. Why can't I feel better? Why can't I be better? I don't want to be here anymore. I don't want to be the trouble patient anymore. I just want to go home and stop being sick. All I want to do is be better, but all I ever do is write in this stupid little book. Um... Sorry, my phone was buzzing. Uh, but I can't give up. I'm going to get out of here. I'm going to get to the point where I'm healthy enough to not need to stay in the hospital. I know I can do it. I have to. I have to show that I'm I'm okay. I'm okay. Not the tear stains on the page, though. I want to I wanna hug Mary, please. That's it? I didn't even find anything that well, helped me. Fuck. I'm, now I'm a creep, aren't I? Well, what can you do about it? Seems to be the only thing of importance in here. Check the other room, Ben. Okay, but before we do, we've already gone full creep. So we might as well, you know, just finish it out. Flowers are wilted. They look like they've been dead a long time. Uh... <gasps> wait, wait, wait! Stop right there! Just 
Cool it, okay? I'm not gonna slug ya. Now, who oh. are you? Uh. Me! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Stay back! Don't get any closer! Hey, didn't I just say I wouldn't slug ya? You... Huh. An eye patch, huh? Look at her little slippers! Are you... Mary? Huh. Yeah, I'm Mary. Why are you asking? No. no, wait. You can't be Mary. Mary's supposed to be paralyzed. I am paralyzed. I... Excuse me? I am paralyzed. No. Just not right now. I don't really know how to explain it. When the hospital lost power, it was like... I was never paralyzed to begin with. I'm sure that sounds super unbelievable, though. Right. I see. What are you running around for, then? You're still sick, aren't you? Well, I just, mm -hmm. um... After everything went dark, I thought someone would come and check up on me. But nobody came. And since I was able to move again, I got curious. So I left my room. And I kept going until I ran into some weird creatures. And when I saw you, I thought you might be one of those monsters. Hmm. Monster? So you encountered them too? Y yeah. And seeing as I'm really not feeling too sick anymore, and there's some dangerous things milling about, I thought maybe I should just leave. Oh. But, um, the front doors were locked, so I'm not sure what I'm looking for. Hmm. Yeah, I tried to leave too. I'm also not really sure where to look for an exit. In that case, then we should, uh, right. go together, I guess. No. No. Huh? What? Wait, what? What do you mean, no? What if you get me in trouble? Huh? What the hell are you talking mm. about? I'm not really supposed to leave my room, you know. What if there's more people here and they catch me because of you? And then they get upset with me because I left my room. Isn't that just more more of a reason to come with huh? me, then? Huh? If you aren't roaming alone, then you'll definitely know you chose to leave- the, Or, they'll definitely know that you chose to leave that room or whatever. But, if I'm with you, well, then we could just say I'm the one who took you out of your room. It'd be much easier to say I wanted to keep you safe while there's all these- What did you call them? Dangerous things milling okay. about? Look, okay, even if they don't buy that, chances are I'd get in trouble. Not you, right? I see. Are we good mm -hmm. then? Yeah, I'll come with you. That makes a lot more sense than what I was thinking. <laughs> You're not always this ditzy, are you? Did you say something? Right. Can she hear thoughts? <laughs> Alright then, now that that's settled, I have a key to room 604 that I was about to go look in. Not really sure if that'll uh what'll help us in there, but at the very least it's worth taking a look inside. Right. Alright, lead the way. Has Mary joined our party? Mary has been added to the characters in the menu, and Mary has joined our party. We've unlocked the talk feature in the main menu! When you get someone in your party, you can talk to them whenever you'd like by pressing the talk button. Mm -hmm. Talk. Vasilis, what kind of foods do you like to eat? I don't know, just Whatever. Why? I mean, I'm just so used to hospital food by now. <laughs> I hope they didn't invent something tasty while I was away. As far as I know, we still have all the same old junk as before. <laughs> and I'm not complaining, because that's my favorite. Oh. What is junk? But it's not like you eat junk food all the time, right? Let's just say it's a good thing I work in a hospital. <gasps> Bacillus, take care of yourself. Uh, also... They are, they're all so silly. <laughs> Alright, we got Mary, the girl claiming to be the infamous patient Marianta. Despite rumors of being paralyzed, Mary seems to be, uh, seems to walk and move perfectly fine. Something is strange with the girl's face. Could the current atmosphere of the hospital be the reason why? What do you mean, weird? She's just got a glowy eyeball. Nothing strange about that. Oh, 604. Wow! 
Oh, dear. What, what happened in here? It's like someone's blood just exploded all over no. the place. All right, calm down. I'm sure that didn't happen. M maybe we shouldn't be in here. As much as I'd like to leave, I don't think we should. Not without looking around first. We have to at least make sure there's nothing important in here before no. we go. D do we really? <laughs> but the blood room brings me comfort. Smell alone is... Uh, and there's so much hey. of it. The more I look... Hey, can you chill the fuck out and shut up? God. Look. We're in a hospital. Of course there's going to be accidents involving blood. Okay. Hell, we don't even know if this blood belonged to anybody. I mean, we... I mean, we know it belonged to someone at one point. Could have been some blood bags or whatever else. <laughs> it might not even be blood. Maybe it's just lighting or something. Hi, Fruity. This is a Qbert. Um, this is everybody's favorite game, Qbert, um, where you play as Qbert uh, and you do Qbert things. That's okay. You can be late. That's acceptable. How are you doing? Um, you missed you missed a Reggie appearance earlier. I'm sad for you. <laughs> Whatever the case is, there's no reason to throw a damn fit over it. I'm a janitor, you know. Cleaning is my job. So if it bothers you that much, just turn around and wait until I'm done cleaning it, okay? Uh -huh. You're gonna clean mm -hmm. it? I don't get paid to sit on my ass all day, do I? I do! <laughs> it's a very little thing. I do like that Vasilis' sprite still has the mop. Even though we don't have a cart anymore. This is, uh, this is their... <laughs> this is their emotional support mop. I see. Right, sorry. I didn't mean to, uh... Um, wait, over by the door. Sorry. Sorry. Don't get mad at her. <gasps> Puddle has been cleaned. Ow! <sighs> I can do a hydrate. Thank you, Emma. All y'all should drink some water too. It doesn't look like water, but it is. It's just, it's just blue blueberry raspberry flavored. Okay. I drink so much water normally that I need it to be flavored so I don't get bored. It's my fake water. I have my water, and I have a rhubarb, rhubarb, rhubarb and strawberry soda that is very tasty. <laughs> These are the drinks of the day. Thank you for for coming to my my drink talk. <laughs> Puddle has been cleaned. Can I clean the walls? I cannot. I mean, obviously, there's text under there. We have learned this, but I'm going to clean up everything else first. And you can't stop me. It's cleaning time. Also, nothing of use. I understand. So, this is Mary, huh? <laughs> we can't have a bucket or we'll make it worse. I want to play Viscera Cleanup Detail again. It's just weird to actually be seeing her and meeting her. She seems a bit stranger than I was anticipating. I want... I want my <laughs> It's Drew She's perfect and we adore her. Puddle has been cleaned. I want my Well uh that's something. I want my I want my what? Oh. <gasps> An escape room. Hmm? It's like an escape room. The hole's in the floor. They must be looking for some kind of key. A key? 
than like the elevator from earlier. Huh. This can't. Hey, don't you think this is weird? What do you mean? Like, how the hell did this stuff get here? In a hospital? Do you know firsthand yourself? After the power went out, all of this, this weird shit started happening. Is there some kind of gas leak that's just causing us to lose our minds or something? You've got to have some sort of opinion on this, right? About how none of this is making any sense? Do I have to? Huh? What? Well... I mean, I don't know why it's happening. But are we just supposed to ignore all this stuff? Well, what else would we be doing if we're not trying to figure it out? I mean, why do you think it's happening? <laughs> Mary's just like, let's just go with the flow and do the puzzles. Come on. <laughs> Whatever. Whatever. Forget it. What were we talking about before? These holes? The key? Yeah. I think if we can find whatever fits in these holes, it could help us right. somehow. Right. If we look around, maybe we'll mm -hmm. find something. Mm, let's look. Let's look. Let's. I, I see you. Got room for or room key for five oh seven. I want my screwy. That's what I want. Justice for screwy. <laughs> Hi, I'm I'm Scree's number one fan. <laughs> Screwy needs to make an appearance in more in more games. Just saying. I've already forgotten what key I had. 506? Mary's one of those Sudoku people. I like Sudoku. I like I like puzzles. 507? Ah! Oh, holy hell. Oh my god. You know what? Yeah, I think I'm okay leaving this room. Wait, dudes. D don't go yet. I got... I got a question to ask. Can you come over here? My dudes? <laughs> my dudes. Can I check my... Oh, I mean, I guess I could in here in keys. That makes sense. But also consider... I blindly wander around and try and open every door. It's probably it's probably better to just check my keys. Whiteboard with food scribblings on it. You want some food? Hey. Hey, your insides? Hey, your insides. I see them. Hey, I see your insides. Hey, you should put your insides away. I remember saying this. Or something similar to this. It's a whiteboard berg. It was a whiteboard berg. They are very colorful. Hey, look, it's monstrous insides. That's a that's a that's a Kingdom Hearts reference. Cause we've been playing Kingdom Hearts with Sylvie and them. The boy store so sliced open. It's as if he's prepared for surgery. I'm prepped for surgery, at least. I'm uh, gonna argue that you don't prep for surgery by just ripping a person open and leaving them on a bed. <laughs> but hey, what do I know? I'm not a doctor. Yeah, don't let your insides be outside. You gotta keep your gummies inside. In, in the center of his torso lies an engorged stomach. It's boiling with what you can only assume is stomach acid. Fizzles and pops and the un unnaturally large organ. Looking at him is difficult. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I trust I I trust Doctor Fruity Spears. Dudes, I'm so glad you're here. Someone was supposed to be back with my lunch forever ago. And dudes, I am wicked starved. My stomach is gurgling, my guy. Right. Yeah, I can see that. Since you're here, could you check up on my meal or something? Or, hell, can you just get me something yourself? I mean, I'd rather not. Oh, come on, please? Uh. I feel like I haven't eaten forever. I mean, I don't mind getting him something. You can't be serious well. right now. I can't help but feel bad for him. Besides, maybe he can help us. Hey, you. Who, <laughs> me? Oh shit, <laughs> I'm Gus by the way. 
Do you have a key or a block or something like that? Huh? Yeah, we're not getting anything out of this guy. <laughs> Please. <laughs> but we can still help him, right? Mary, after all I've seen, I don't even know if this dude is alive. Look at him! He has to be like one of uh, like those monsters or something, right? Besides, aren't we trying to get out of here? We shouldn't waste time on this. And evidently going without food isn't going to kill him. Oh. Right? Yeah, I guess you're right. But I'll feel bad if I don't help him. Maybe keep looking for a key while I run to a vending machine? We have those here, right? I don't have any money on, on me, though. Uh, uh you dudes all right over there? I've been talking for a while. Shit, this stuff isn't grossing you out, is it? <laughs> My bee. <laughs> Fuck it, we'll get you some huh? food. Really? Mm -hmm. What do you want? Gnarly. <laughs> Gnarly. <laughs> Can I get a... Oh! Oh, the whiteboard! The whiteboard? Yeah. yeah, dude. I always used to get the same thing for lunch, so I just wrote it on the whiteboard instead of having to repeat myself every time. Man, it's been so long. Even I don't remember what it was. It's a whiteboard berg. It's a whiteboard berg. Hey. Hey, it's a whiteboard berg. Hey. It's a whiteboard berg. If only I could remember what it was. Okay. I see. We'll look at the whiteboard, head down to the cafeteria, and then be back soon, I guess. Radical. <laughs> I love you, Gus. Can't leave just yet? What do you mean? Oh, you want me? I, okay. Oh. Whiteboard with food scribblings on it. Lettuce, cheese. The squares. Ketchup. Burger. Mushrooms? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Mushrooms? Lettuce, cheese, mushrooms? Ketchup burger? Some of the letters are smudged. Lettuce, cheese, mushrooms? Ketchup burger? Lettuce, cheese, mushrooms? Ketchup burger? This is how I'm gonna remember it. I'm sorry. Lettuce, cheese, mushrooms? Lettuce, er, no, wait! Lettuce, cheese, M! <laughs> it's fine! Also, we haven't saved in a hot minute. That's why I'm coming here. I definitely planned that out. We'll go to four. Ah, look at Mary's little sprite! I gotta go to the first floor. We gotta do three minus two. Get them three tiny cubes. <laughs> so lettuce, cheese, cubes, ketchup, burg. Understood. <laughs> oh, there's also a there's a save point right outside the cafeteria. Is this this is suddenly uh, humble, <laughs> happy humble burger bar, isn't it? I'm gonna have to make make burgs and th and th throw them, flick them. I was trying to say too many words at once. All right, what did he want again? It's like a burger. Right. Looked that way right. to me. All right, I guess oh. I'll prepare that. Oh, I can make it really. I insisted we help after all. What? No, you're sick, aren't you? I also want a burger. Thanks. <laughs> Hmm. Borg. Oh, no, I'm not contagious or anything. Besides, I always wash my hands before making food. No. What I meant is that you probably shouldn't be doing a lot when you're not in good physical con or physical health. Besides, I know I said that I'm willing to take the fall if we get caught, but can you imagine how much worse it'd be for me if they saw I was making a patient do manual oh. labor? Oh. <laughs> yeah, that... That's a good point, I guess. But... Like I told you before, I feel fine, so I'll, um... Can you catch the purples from a bad burg? I'd believe it. I'll see if I can find any key or block or something while you make food. Sure, whatever. Sounds good to me, I guess. 
gotta make a burg. Need more grease before you can start prepping. Okay, fine. The re received a cheese and ketchup. Hope he isn't finicky about the order the ingredients are in. Like, who cares if the cheese is over the ketchup or what or not? Boss, that's wrong. Bacillus, that's wrong. Because these are pretty big. Just one should be fine, right? Patty! Can't build a burger without... Well, burger. Doesn't specify how well he likes it cooked, so anything should be fine, right? <laughs> the little stomping in place. Ugh, good enough. Wait! No! Wait! No! Wait! No! I should go grocery shopping soon. But... But where are the M's? Is the M for Mary? Repeat order. Buns, lettuce, cheese, ketchup, a patty, and something else. The smudged word. I see, thank you. Oh, okay. I like that she lets you know. I mean, I remembered, obviously, because I'm great. Yes. But, and that's a burger. Isn't it missing something? He had that, like, one smudgy ingredient, right? Is he really going to care that much if we forget one ingredient? He already came this far, and what if he sends it back because we got right. it wrong? It's actually a good point. I've seen too many people do that. Smudge spot started with an M, right? Maybe it's mustard? I don't think it was a condiment. Began with M, kind of had a rounded shape, but... No, it couldn't really be that, could it? Is it a marshmallow? Oh? What on a burger? I can only think it's... Is it mellow or mallow? It's mallow, right? Oh. Mallow. I know I've told some people this before. Marshmallow. I don't like marshmallows at all. Hey, your S kind of, kind of hovers over the W a little bit. The A also intersects with the F a little bit. It's kind of cute. Huh? Really? I mean, can you think of anything else it could have been? I guess not, but. I just never saw anyone do that well, before. Me neither, but if it's what he wants, then... <laughs> I'm not judging. <laughs> Wait, do we even carry marshmallows here? I mean, marshmallows are technically gluten-free, and... Well... They're an egg product, aren't they? Oh well, it's fine. Well, if it's done. It looks mushy. No. Don't say that while I'm holding it. Come on, let's just deliver this thing before I start feeling sick. So, Arcade. Have you ever eaten a burg with marshmallows on it? <laughs> Fruity, please. <laughs> You're right, I was ridiculous. <laughs> well, now you have to try, I think... I think you're legally obligated to try a, a burger with, with with marshmallows on it now, you know, since since you put it in your game. <laughs> also, what floor were we on? Six? Yeah, it's the Sinner Sandwich 2.0. This is not a Sinner Sandwich I would eat. I'm sorry. Uh, four plus two. I will not eat this sandwich. I'm sorry. 407. 608? 609. Where? 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 Okay. What do you do in your free time? Me? Uh... Play guitar if it counts. Why wouldn't it well, count? I don't know. It's not like I really play it anywhere for anyone. I just sit in my room and strum a few chords every now and again. 
you would you would you play for Krovin? That's really cool. What kind of guitar is it? Just a normal acoustic guitar? It's nothing fancy. Acoustic guitar. How nice. Thanks oh? for telling me. Oh, uh, sure. No problem. Are we on floor five? Is this is this what? <laughs> Hi, I'm an idiot. Five oh seven. Five oh seven. Hey, I have your Berg. Do I just like? Do I just? Do I just put it in? Do I give it to you? Gus, are you awake? We're back. Mm. Yeah, we got your gross burger. Hey, do you want me to lie? It's gross. Whoa, really? <laughs> Dudes, it's sick. I've been starving. This rocks. Good. Here, take it. I don't want to hold it anymore. Awesome. Toss it in. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, what? <laughs> I mean, am I supposed to grab it myself? I'm not really in a position to be moving around too much on account of my, uh, everything. Just toss it in. No. No way. Are you kidding? That's disgusting and dangerous? Dude, come on. Uh. I'm starving. And I'm a good catch. Swear. Promise. Vasilis, you can- Fine! Fine! Everyone just shut up already. I'm doing it. Stupid fucking- Oh, thanks so much. I feel, I feel gnarly. So much better. Uh, how'd oh. you? You're, you completely transformed. Told you I feel better, didn't I? Thanks so much, gay guys. Seriously, I feel like. Uh, ah! <laughs> I like that expression. Uh. What's happening? Are you really okay? I think we've killed Gus. Phew! Gus spits out a block. Received tea block. <laughs> <laughs> had something caught in my throat, I guess. No idea where that came from. You cannot be this casual about that. What do you mean you don't know where it came from? It was in you! Uh, could've come from anywhere. I eat a lot. <laughs> I don't need it though, so you can keep it if you want. Thanks again for your help. Later, dudes. Oh, Gus fades away. <laughs> Bye, Gus. Whoa, he. A ghost? Was he a ghost the whole time? What? Did you think a person could stay alive like that? Well. I mean, no, I just. Vasilis, are you okay? You look, uh. It didn't even matter what we put in that stupid burger. We didn't even taste the damn thing. <laughs> Regardless, I think you did a nice thing helping him. Whatever, I'm just glad I didn't get anything on me. Uh, Vasilis, I am... Um, I would have tossed the him the burger, huh? you know? What? How come you didn't do it then? I was going to offer, but you cut me off before I could say anything. Ugh. Next time we have to do something like that, I'm handing things over to you mm -hmm. then. Sure thing. Oh, Mary. Gus has been added to the characters. Also, I saw the, the shiny thing on the floor, but we will be reading these every time. <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! Gluttonous Gus is no longer having stomach problems thanks to your help. Despite a rather odd appearance, he poses no threat to you. Gus is very appreciative of your assistance. But who was he? Who is he? And how did he wind up here? <laughs> I love Gus. <laughs> so, so what kind of foods do you like to eat? I don't know, just whatever. Why? Oh, we've heard this one. Hold on. What is junk? Okay. Well, let's get the shiny. We got room three, the room 308 key. Where did this come from? Did it fall off the bed? Would you look at that? We were worried he wouldn't be of any help to us. And now we got both a block and a key. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay. 
We got third floor. We can't get to the third floor from here, right? Yeah. Okay, well that's fine. Because that means I can save. We'll rotate between these five files. This is fine, I think. Three. So that's four minus one. I can do math. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> and I've already read this one. We have been on this floor before. It was 304? Three oh eight. Out we go. We unlocked the door. Okay, what the fuck? We're just leaving trash around the hospital rooms now? Is that it? Do you know who has to clean all this? It's not trash. They're birds. What? Look closer. They're birds, see? Oh yeah, it's origami, huh? Still have to clean it up though. Origami crane? Okay. Well. Received a block. And a coffee! What? From the inside? How are we supposed to get out then? Looking closer, you can see it's made out of blotchy old newspaper pages. Many of the words are too smudged to read, but a segment that you can read says... Missing bottom right. Everyone alive next bed. Unwell in front chair. Ooh, this one? Inspect directly below. Claims keys behind chair. Already talked, one of them lying. Oh, fuck. Investigation into Mal, us. Okay, so what did this one say? Yeah, we're, we live in the crane room now. This is... All within the same year, even months. Never liked children especially. The room was filled with paper cranes as a calling card. Unwell in front chair. Sorry, we're just gonna read all these. Promises will never happen again. Found in her office. Missing bottom right. Trial continues. Numerous patients under her care. Terminated immediately. Already talked one of them lying. Investigations into malpractice. Directly below, claims keys behind chair. How do I get... Photo book refused to comment. Thinking, contemplating, considering. Behind the chair. Yeah, but we 
Which one? <laughs> I need to tear up one of the birds and then ask each of the birds if the bird is ripped up. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I keep reading the same one. I am confused. Queen's at Ellery, Guh, and others. <gasps> Thus? Have I read all of them now? I need them gone. <laughs> below is it an empty tile oops no excuse me while i just break my brain trying to understand do you need the bird do I <laughs> that is the question though isn't it how do I Arcade, I'm real dumb, is the thing. Here's, here's the thing. Can I, I can't push them, can I? They're not movable. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Arky, listen. I'm a I'm a big old dummy. I'm a big ol' idiot. I'm a big ol' idiot. It's fine. This lounge is on the first floor? Yes. A lounge? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> We're just gonna pretend that never happened. Um. And move along. <laughs> I. I, I under I understand it now and I see what I did wrong um 
but I'm I'm a real idiot. And I'm bad at at puzzles like that. Because my solution is all if I am told that there is a, a liar in the group, my immediate solution is to kill one of the cur like the things there and then be like, alright, is he dead? <laughs> and then whoever says he's not dead, there's your liar! <laughs> It's fine. If I did, they wouldn't tell me anything different. Or they would, in this instance. I see! Something about that weird to you? Oh no, no, I was just thinking... Do they have a coffee machine there? Yeah, did you want coffee? <laughs> oh no, I hate coffee. Alright. <laughs> I won't kill the birds, I promise. Hey, remember that time I, I talked about wanting to sit in the wheelchair and zoom around and then Vasilis is like, I hate it when people treat these like toys. Wasn't that great? Wasn't that a good bit? Wait, Vasilis. I've got to use the bathroom. Oh. Oh, Alright then. No. Let's go. No! I need to go by myself. Oh. Are you sure? It's safer to go together, isn't it? What if you run into some monster in there? Let me hold your hands. It's what friends do. Sorry. <laughs> I didn't realize that sounded... Listen, if you're not part of the group, you may not understand, but we all talk about holding hands when we go to the bathroom all the time. It's fine. But, um, I can't go if I know you're right there, you know? So please wait outside. Fine, whatever. Go. Thank you. I'll be out real quick. I promise. Yeah, yeah. But I also get it. You want your privacy. We can hold hands later, I guess. Jeez, what's taking her so long? Should I knock? What if... Hey, Mary? Uh, Mary? I'm not done in here yet. Give me a minute. Okay, I'm gonna... Hey, I'm gonna... <laughs> hey, I'm gonna check out a door? Okay, I'll be... I'll be right back. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Ah! Ah! Yeah. Ah! Uh, you again? Ah. <laughs> I told you. I told you. Hold on. Are you still there? I need to talk about this. This is Ollie, and they're perfect. Or, as I have the pleasure of knowing, their full name, Olive and Ridley. Holly's in here all the goddamn time, spooking people with their weird psychic ghost nonsense. Claiming they come here to keep an eye on the energy of these those recently passed. Bugs the hell out of people, and that's why I always gotta chase them down and toss them out. No. What the hell are you doing here, Ollie? I keep telling you you're not allowed in here if you're just gonna keep doing weird shit. Well, well, well. Vasilis. Say, I'm actually here because two of my friends were involved in an accident recently. I'm here visiting them to make sure they're okay. But you wouldn't know anything about that, would you? The fuck? Uh, whatever. Do you know what happened to everybody? Or why the hospital is like this? I told you, it's just like I've, I've been saying all this time. The energy of those past has been storing up here. Perhaps they were pushed past the point of breaking the barrier between our worlds. All that energy must be causing that world to merge huh? with ours. But what caused it to break, I wonder? The straw that broke the camel's back. Ugh, whatever, Ollie. By any means, it's a good thing I found you. Probably. We can look for a way out huh? together. What? I can't do that. I have to go find my friends. Huh? Are you serious? How do you know they're even here? In case you haven't noticed, like, 99% of the fucking dis- Er, 99% of us fucking disappeared after the no. blackout. No, I know they're here. I can sense them. It's part of my gift. So you're really just gonna run off by yourself when the hospital's all fucked like this? Because of a gut feeling? Fucking dumbass. Didn't anyone ever t uh, teach you it's safer to travel in groups? Split the party! Split the party! I agree. And that's why I'm gonna find my friends. I mean, if they're alone or in danger, then I have to find them, you oh. know? But hey, if you find them before 
I do? Maybe we'll see each other again. Maybe. Later. No, Ollie, come back. I love you. Ollie, son of a... <sighs> Just when I thought you couldn't piss me off anymore. Whatever. I'm already done in that stupid bathroom yet. Ollie has been added to our list of characters. I love a little nonsense occult buddy. The hospital bed, the sheets are tucked in tidy since nobody is using it. Goodbye, Ollie. I'll see you later. Look at them. Ollie has been a thorn in Vasilis' side ever since Vasilis started working at the hospital. Eccentric and sometimes sensitive, Ollie is a psychic who frequently visits the hospital to check for ghostly activity. Vasilis is often tasked with kicking them out of the building for disturbing everyone with their presence. <laughs> okay, but listen. That's a gribbler! <laughs> Ollie, are you a gribbler? Hey, are you done there yet? Hold on! Sorry, okay. sorry! Uh, are you okay in there? Yeah, 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 I, I'm just, uh, just washing up, sorry! No worries, I guess. The elevator, is that Ollie again? <gasps> Hi, Rune! Hey, how are you doing? Oh. Rune? Uh. Lucillus? What are you doing here? I'm, uh, waiting for someone in the bathroom. Hmm. I see. That's curious. Multiple people are here with me? Yes, quite curious indeed. Uh, Rune? Right. I, uh, I take it you're also trying to figure out how to get out of here? Hmm? No, quite the opposite, actually. I'm just doing work. I just picked up some files from the second floor. Huh? Hey, hey, bud. <laughs> Hey, Rune? Baby? Darling? How? The second floor is infested with monsters, isn't it? How did you manage to get past them? <laughs> oh, Vasilis, they aren't any harm. Just go about your own business. If you don't bother them, they won't bother you. Well, most of them won't anyways. Why are you so cool about this? <laughs> well, right. if that's all, I'll be on my way then. Huh? But Rune... Blackout doesn't change the fact that I've got work to get done. <laughs> okay! <laughs> Speaking of, if you find any loose papers with a bit of, uh, chalky texture on the writing, bring them to me. Well, I'm missing one for my files. Anywho, I'm sure you'll be fine. See you later. You can't just pretend that this is normal and okay! Maybe Mary isn't the strange one here after all. Maybe everyone in the whole damn hospital's lost their minds. It's more likely than you think. Okay. Okay, all done. Sorry for the wait. I was trying to fix my okay. eye patch. It's whatever. Let's just get going already. Of course. Sorry to hold you up. We can now access the second floor. But we have to go to the first floor. Because lounge? But also... Been about two hours that's about how long i've normally been streaming as of late so we might call it here perhaps wait vasilla said it was on the first floor right but there's the basement Yeah, there's a save over here, but the lounge. There weren't any other doors in here aside from the one into the kitchen, right? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> uh, hello? Hey. Oh, hey. I was starting to feel like I w it was just me here. Hi. Huh. Um, uh, what are you doing here? Uh, sorry, I was just so hungry. I couldn't wait around any longer. And I had a feeling that no one was going to come around and ask what I wanted right now. Hey, are you one of Ollie's huh. friends? Huh? Ollie's here? 
Yeah, they said that their friends were in the hospital and that they were looking for them. Ah, shoot. Holy, that, what a sweetheart. I better go look for them. I'd hate to keep them waiting. They can get, uh, real worried sometimes, you know? Oh. You're just gonna go off on your own? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Don't sweat it. See you around. No, come back. No, come back. <laughs> no, come back. Mitzi received a broken arm from a car crash earlier in the day and is staying in the hospital overnight. She says the pain hasn't been bothering them ever since the lights went out and that they're content just waiting around as long as she can listen to her music. I love you, Mitzi. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is delightful. Okay, yeah, I think we'll call it here. Because we've got we've got our little objective option. So that will tell me what I need to, well, kind of. Well, at least give me an idea of what we need to do. I will save over a couple of times just to make sure. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> That's what we're gonna do for today. Um, Cause I need to get some dinner and do a stretch and not sit down for a while. Um, I'll continue this on on Wednesday if I stream. Like I said, this will probably be our our weekday game for the for the time being. Um, Y'all should go check it out. Go support our friends on on itch. We love Arcade here. <laughs> yeah, this is delightful so far. Thank you, Arcade, for making this uh, and for hanging out for us for a while. We like it. We appreciate you. Um, yeah, I think I think we like your games here. Hey. Um, for those of you in the Discord who want to watch Skinnamarink. Y'all should let me know in the Horror Fest uh, channel what days work for you as far as when to watch a film. Um, it, we might we might just do it at the normal Horror Fest time uh, since since there's a lot of people who are interested in it who are already in the Horror Fest thing. Um, but let me know if you are. If you are interested in the skinamaroo, skinamaboo, skinamadinked uh, situation, <laughs> and we'll figure out a time to to view, to view that together. Um, yeah. As far as anything else is concerned, I think we just need to find out who to read into. I don't really have anyone else online right now except for Super Great Friend doing Erica, um, which I think is an FMV game. I think I actually own that one and was planning on checking it out. <gasps> is Hag streaming? Am I not following Hags anymore? Well, heck. Okay, hold on. <gasps> Let's go say hi to Hags then. Hags is doing some Genshin. And it's his birthday. So, if y'all are gonna come on the raid with us, there are our raid messages. The first one is for everyone. It's got global emotes. Um, the second one is for subs. It's got our channel emotes. Sorry, I'm typing in as I'm trying to talk and it's very difficult. <laughs> um, we'll do... We'll do some more Blackout Hospital on Wednesday. I will see y'all then. Have a good rest of your evening. Take care of your dang selves. Um, and I love you. That's all you need to know. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a great rest of your time zone. Uh, and we'll, we'll see y'all later, friends. Bye.